Hi everyone, it's Kevin Monahan from fcpworld.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an alpha transition, which is a new feature of Final Cut Pro 7. Now, what I'm going to use as this alpha transition is the head of the Kamakura Buddha located in Kamakura, Japan. The first thing I need to do with this image is optimize it in Photoshop. So let's get into Photoshop and make a new document. Now the document should be 1920, 1080, resolution 72 pixels an inch at 16 bit. I'll just name this document Daibutsu underscore clip because this document I intend to use for the clip of the alpha transition. Okay, so we've got our document open. I just need to resize it a little so I can scale up the image. I'll now go to File and Place and locate the original photo, Daibutsu. Click Place and the image is placed in the middle of your canvas. What we need to do now is scale this up and center the head in the canvas. So I'll just hold the Shift and Option keys down, constraining this and dragging it down. Now I don't want to drag it down too far because I want to have the head touching the top of the frame because after all we're going to use this as a wipe. So I double click and the file is now placed. The clip is now ready to be saved. So save it, but do not save it as a PSD. It is better to save it as a flattened file like a TIFF or a PNG. So we've got it as a PNG, just click Save and click OK here. And the image is ready to be used as a clip. What we need now is a clip alpha mat. A clip alpha mat is a black and white representation of the original clip. So what I'll do is I'll reopen that PNG, just a little easier to deal with this PNG than the original. And I need to make the areas of blue black to create an area of transparency around the head. So I'll grab the magic wand, clicking on the area of blue, and shift clicking on the other side. And I'll switch to the zoom tool so I can take a closer look here. And I'll switch back to the selection tool. Shift click, got my selection ready to go. Next I'll need to fill the area in with black. So I'll head over to the edit menu, edit, fill, and black is all ready to go. My Buddha head is now surrounded with black. Let's now invert the selection, shift apple I, so just the head is selected, and go to edit, fill, and choose white this time. Click OK, and we've got our clip alpha mat ready to go. All we need to do is save it. Remember to use save as, you don't want to save over the original, and rename it clip alpha mat. Great, click save and we can now get out of Photoshop. Okay, so now let's get into motion where we can animate our clip, our clip alpha mat, and something called a wipe mat. The most important thing here in motion is to create the proper settings for our project here. Now the best way to set this up is just the way we set up our Photoshop file, 1920-1080. We'll change it to float. We want square pixels, we want no fields, and we'll choose 5994 for the frame rate. This sort of ensures a universal acceptability for the alpha transition. Now here in Motion, what we need to do is set up our layers appropriately. So we need to set at the bottom our wipe mat, which is essentially just an edge wipe made with black and white color solids. So let's get some color solid generators into the motion project. I'll just click on the import button here. And it's blue. We don't want it to be blue. We want our bottom layer to be white. So I'll just launch the HUD, click in here, and I'll just sort of choose white. It's not white enough. I'm going to go over here to the gradient slider, make sure it's 100% white. 
All we need to do now is get a black layer on top of this. I'll just duplicate the white layer and with the HUD still up, change it to grayscale. And I'll make sure this is 100% black. So I've got my black and white layers. I'm going to use these as the wipe mat. Again, it's just going to be an edge wipe, folks. Okay, so let's import those Photoshop files we prepared earlier. In reverse order, first we'll get the clip alpha mat in there just by clicking the import button. Looks okay. And then finally, we'll get the Buddha head in just by clicking the import button. And all our layers are set up. We've got the Daibutsu at the top of the stack. We have the clip alpha mat. And then we have the two layers which make up the wipe mat. So what we'll need to do now is animate these layers. And in order to do this the proper way, we need to set up the black layer first. And I'm just going to drag that so that it is aligned with the center of the Buddha head. That is going to be the transition point for the wipe mat. Okay, so I've selected all these layers except for the white layer and I'm dragging them off stage here. Now let's hit the record button because we need to add a keyframe here. The record button is on. I'm just going to option click on the position parameters and set that first keyframe. Now I'm going to move the playhead to the end of the comp. Okay, we've got all the layers selected. We drag it through with the playhead, the end position, and that's what we want to see. Now, you may notice that after the Buddha goes through the frame with the black trailing behind it, there's a certain point where the white layer pops back on. You don't want this, so let's select the white layer and then just typo to cut that layer off at that certain point. So as the Buddha head continues through the frame, it will leave behind just black. We're all set up. All we need to do now is render each piece out, starting with the clip. The clip alpha mat, I'm going to render out that on its own. And for the white mat, I'm going to render out the bottom two layers. So we're into Final Cut Pro now, and what we need to do is import those three clips into Final Cut. So I'll just move the canvas out of the way here and open up the folder that I rendered out these clips into. I will marquee the clips and drag and drop them right into the bin in Final Cut. Now my alpha transition clips are ready to go. Let's drag the canvas back. Now we'll select the edit and we'll add the alpha transition to the cut. Let's go to the effects menu, video transitions, all the way down to wipe. Choose alpha transition and the alpha transition is applied to the cut. Double click on the alpha transition right there because you'll need to edit this transition. One by one we want to drag and drop these clips into the clip wells. First the clip gets dragged into the top well. The clip alpha mat is then dragged into the middle well. And finally the wipe mat into the bottom clip well. And our alpha transition is all ready to go. You can scrub through it here to see what's going to happen. And you can see our alpha transition is working just fine. However, we should probably render it to see how it's going to look in its final state. Let's now play back this transition now that it is rendered out, marking an in and out here to set a play range, and shift backslash plays into out and our alpha transition is working perfectly. However, it goes by a little bit too fast. So what we can do is we can lengthen this alpha transition like any other transition. I'm just going to type in here two seconds. I want to show you here in the sequence settings that we are here at 2997 frames per second and we created the alpha transition at 5994 per second. So we have twice as many frames to deal with here. That is why we have additional handle. So our two second version is now rendered out and it's looking just right for my needs. You know, 
this alpha transition is pretty cool, but by no means perfect. I could probably use a little bit more work on this graphic, but it's pretty much how you would animate any kind of object-oriented wipe, including a corporate logo. Heck, your own logo. I hope this tutorial has helped you learn how to create your own alpha transitions. This has been Kevin Monahan from FCP World. For more information about alpha transitions, including some alpha transitions I've just released for sale, check out fcpworld.com slash alpha transitions. Thanks for watching this tutorial from fcpworld.com.